All right, here's the next question. Expand this and the sum of the full term. So you know that this is summation and this is the unknown here. And this, the R, will be the starting point, R equals 2, and this is the end point. So what we're going to do is we just write, expand this by writing it in a normal way. That will become two, starting from 4, and then summation is plus, so starting from 4, and then 5, 6, and 7. That's what we need. All right, B, the same thing, expand the value of it, so... R equals to 4, 20, 30 this time. 2R. That will become, start with 2 to the power 4 plus 2 to the power 5 plus duh, 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 plus up to 2 to the power 30. What I can see, this is a sum of GP with the U1 equals to 2 to the power 4 and R is 2. So we have from four, 2 to the power 4 to 30, we got 26 terms. So N equals to 27. And so we can use the sum of GP equals to first term 2 to the power 27 minus 1 over 2 minus 1. And then we got our lovely calculator. So we will have key in the value 2 to the power 4 times 2 to the power 27 minus 1 oh because this is the rate this is the ratio and this is the number of term and then over 2 times 2 divided by one, 2 minus 1 and this is the very long answer we got to copy that in I think this will accept a round of value, but this is exact. I'll leave it as it is. All right, part B. Explain why this could not be value evaluated. So first of all, number one is, is an infinite GP, which you can see here, and R is bigger than one. We can only have infinite GP when we have R bigger or smaller than 1 for infinite GP. So this is bigger than 1, so this cannot be calculated for the infinite sum because the number get bigger and bigger. And this is our question.